Yes, you guessed it, the tackle arrived today, and I don't care who you are, to any angler, this is a good day. Now I'll briefly run you guys through the tackle received and ordered for what we want to do forward, relevant to times and conditions and the new techniques we use. What I really appreciate about Dawa, specifically Dawa South Africa, is the reels they bring in is already pre-selected for our conditions and our type of fishing. Some of them even adapted and altered to suit our conditions and our way of fishing. This is what I really respect about Dawa International, being prepared to do that. In the past you used to get like the SL50, SHVK, where it ends with a K, that was specifically changed or altered to suit our conditions. Now today I'll only be looking at what we chose and how we're going to put them together, just run you guys through the range of, of tackle received and going forward in the weeks to come we'll have specific clips on specific products, um, why, why we use them and the features that make them the products to choose. When it comes to reels, line, hooks and swivels, braid and leader, don't get stingy because this is really the stuff that makes it matter. You spend a fortune on going fishing trips and you don't want any of those elements or terminal tackle or your reel to fail you. Now firstly I'm going to look at uh, the BG reels we got. Very popular at this stage which has got a nice range in sizes running from probably a 2000 if I'm not mistaken but this is the 3000, 4000, 5000, 6000, 500 like we used to in the past uh, the size reel and now the 8000 that uh, is the latest model on the market. Now you'll notice I've got two of each because I've got uh, Caroline that I need to keep in mind. Now as I've heard through the bush network at most stores and most places you'll probably have to back order it because I believe as they come in they've sold out in most most of the stores. Very popular reels at this stage then the one up, uh, the Saltus, the new Saltus, very sexy reels. Um, that's now basically coming out with a nine ball bearing, seven ball bearings, both air rotors, and a whole bunch of other features which we'll run you through in detail in weeks to come. Now, all for different purposes. There's the light spinning, which is the 3000 I'm using, the slightly bigger spinning, more for from the beach and the rocks. This one I'll do estuaries and lighter and the salt is 4000 also from the beaches and rocks and that's spinning basically from 1 ounce to 3 ounce that's a kind of class looking at for artificial and I actually enjoy also using these outfits for edible fishing putting a little 3 ounce sinker with a small look fishing prawn baits for bronze bream and your hull yun and anything like that you find in the rocks but now keep in mind when you target those fish on this lighter tackle there's a good chance you can pick up a muscle cracker and this tackle will not be 100% suited but luck might be on your side that day now this will match up with 11 foot 6 Dawa XLR rod which we ordered <coughs> and then the braid on there will be a 15 pound, 20 pound or 30 pound now here's the buzz braid and when I mean the buzz braid the new Dawa J braid um, there's a whole buzz about it out there currently it's proven itself in a very short period of time and the new 8 strand, the red box have a look, look out for that in the shops very well priced braid for the quality you're, you're getting and you get it in the 4 strand and the 8 strand now obviously the 8 strand will be a more supple type of braid that will, will tend to give you a lot more distance in your casting as well and there again we'll run you in detail through braids going forward then I've got a whole bunch of top shot line um, leader braid, the uh, gator braid, the triple fish braids for the leader lines and we've got some BG50s for rock and surf trusted, we've used them for so many years and caught so many kilos on them and then, sure, I waited for this very excited for, about this, the new Saltiga 50HA now, sure, this is odd uh, my previous Saltigas I had for, for probably more than 12 years, even before we started ESA. Um, and I was fishing with them competitively for all those years, and something maybe not proud of saying, but I never serviced those reels. I took them out, put them on, and uh, they're happy to laugh at any fish or smile at any fish that picks them up. So I'm very excited about that reel as well. 
Then smaller BG just for lighter tackle fishing and then two backup BG's 6.5 and 8,000 and what else some spoons very excited about these if you don't have anchovy spoons with you then uh, you might watch some TV on the beach these spoons last year caused mayhem if you didn't have anchovies you didn't get the fish off Durban and the whole south coast they produced a hell of a lot of fish last year especially now this is very well priced as well the kingfish anchovy it's a 50 gram spool, spoon which is you know 10 grams more than most of the spoons we use <coughs> it can give you that extra bit of distance and it's got this lovely glitter on the spoons then some of the kingfisher spoons the blue and white longer one uh, this is the needle nose and this is the bonnies the shorter pink and silver very nice glitter on them just to create that glimmer when you're fishing and, and get the attention and we also receive some sports scarves which we normally use very versatile multi-purpose uh, we've got some caps and that in short is about it in what we received to do this season now we've got the lighter spinning for lighter artificial we've got the light spinning which is the 11 foot 6 range with 4,000 reels and that will use off the beach and rocks for artificial as well as some edible fishing then the BGs for sliding the 50s and uh, in general just uh, throwing bigger baits which will most probably rather use the BGs the spinning reels and then the Saltiga for sliding heavier tackle they all have 0.58 top shot with a 50 pound uh, backing on the BG 8000 we'll put uh, 48 50 pound braid probably fit about 900 meters on here we'll check we'll, we'll tackle it up and see We'll, sp we'll spool it up and see how, ma how many meters it takes and then 40 pound on the 6500 which we'll use for like a medium sized fish and bigger edibles um, maybe some flat fish and the 8000 is really throwing the big baits for the bigger fish 6000 I'll use for eggies as well which is nice now guys more importantly tackle treats you the way you treat your tackle look after your tackle keep it clean it's actually very simple when you come back from a trip you know you were all tired and sometimes lazy but just rinsing it in fresh water properly and thoroughly will extend the lifespan of any of your equipment especially on the reels even your rods if you just wipe them down with fresh water after a session that will really extend it the same for your braid and your line on your reels receiving that bit of fresh water the thing with salt water it is corrosive in many ways and your products will deteriorate if you don't wash it regularly. Okay, now in general, that's just a very basic overview. Um, I'm quite uh, amped to get these reels all spooled, tackled up, because in a couple of days I want to shoot down to the coast quickly, go look for maybe a big blackfin. There's some edibles around on the north coast still. The odd sandy is still coming out. We're now in the beginning of May. Uh, most of the summer fish has probably hit the road already. Um, I heard of small pockets of sardines, but we never bank on the sardines anymore unless it really come and washes up in your face. Then you can plan around them. But uh, from there, end of the month, we'll shoot in down to Transkai and put all of these reels and rods we're going to use into practice and show you guys how they handle. Obviously, we're going to try our best to hook the biggest possible fish around and do a lot of edible fishing as well. So make sure you catch us every week. We'll give you updates on what's happening, where we are, and some extra tips, bait demos. And guys, if you're interested in, in becoming a SFN ambassador, and it's your passion to share knowledge or information to your fellow anglers, then remember to mail us at proangler at asfn.co.za for consideration. But better yet, make a video with your cell phone in your area on your fishing or maybe tips you can give put that together and upload it on www.drawbox.com and send us the link for that to proangler at asfn.co.za it's your time to get involved as well um, youtube allows us that so we've got space for a couple of ambassadors which we'll carefully select based on what you would like to offer the angling industry